Hi, I'm Randy. I have the 2020 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD High Country. It's Chevrolet's best-selling vehicle in the country. Chevrolet made some major changes this year. It's bigger, more powerful, and they upgraded the technology and camera system. If you love choices, you'll love the Silverado because it comes in five different trim levels. The trim levels are Work Truck, Custom, LT, LTZ, and High Country. The base price is $34,500. This one is fully loaded and it's the high country. It comes in at $65,090. I'm gonna go through all the options and features of the car, then start it up and take it for a spin. So follow me and check it out. This Silverado review wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for Connell Chevrolet located in Costa Mesa, California. Connell Chevrolet is family owned and one of the oldest and largest Chevrolet dealerships in Southern California. Not only do they have over 100 Silverados at this time, but they have a big selection of SUVs, sedans, and sports cars. Give them an opportunity to win your business. You won't be disappointed. The brand new Silverado 2500 HD has a 6-speed, six 6.6-liter six liter direct injection naturally aspirated V8 gas engine that pushes out 401 horsepower and 464 pound-feet of torque. This engine replaces the 6.0-liter engine that's been in the Silverado for almost 20 years. If you need more power, there's an optional 10-speed Duramax turbo diesel that pushes out 445 horsepower and 910 pound-feet of torque. This Duramax turbo diesel is great for towing 35,500 pounds and the max payload is 7,442 pounds. This 6.6 .6 gas liter engine is no slouch. It can tow up to 17,370 pounds, which is 400 pounds more than the Ram 2500 and a lot more than Ford's F-250. In the rear, you'll find a single exhaust pipe, sensors, a full-size spare tire, a heavy-duty hitch for towing, a Connell Chevrolet license plate frame, towing plugs for your brakes and power, and two additional camera plugs that hook up inside and outside your trailer. The bed of the truck got bigger from last year's model. Its length increased almost four inches and the volume increased 8.6 cubic feet. I already know a lot of Randys will fit in here, but let's see what Randy can do with this much space. Dubby Dax! Kung Fu! You like those sound effects? On your marks, get set! Sprint! Tennis anyone? You can even have cool tailgate parties and charge emission. The back is so big. There's a 120 volt outlet in one corner, a light on each side, and a light above the rear window so you can work at night. The bed has a bed liner so it's easy to move, slide, and carry cargo. The bed now has 12 tie downs, three in each quarter at three different levels. So no matter where you are around the car, you'll be able to reach one. There are also nine rubber sockets so you can add additional tie downs if you need them. There are bed steps on each side of the rear bumper and one on each side of the bed. So no matter where you are on the outside of the car, you'll get access to anything on the inside, like a tie down. By the way, the steps are now larger to fit a work boot. There's a lot going on in the back. Multiple cameras, parking sensors, not to mention the tailgate is now automatic. Down and up. Depending on what model you get, you'll get chrome or more chrome. The only model that doesn't have chrome is the work truck trim. The only model that comes with the Chevrolet symbol is a high country trim. 
The black bow tie is an additional charge, $140. The High Country comes with LED daytime running lights, LED headlights, LED fall lights, and a lot of chrome. Here's more chrome, chrome side steps, chrome door handles, chrome side view mirrors that slide out for towing. The capless fuel tank found its way to the Silverado from the Corvette. They incorporated it here so you won't scratch your car. The full leather back seats can fit three adults comfortably and can be heated. In the back, there is a secret compartment to put folders, contracts, or to hide in and out burgers. And if you pull down the center armrest, you get two cup holders. It's really easy to lift these seats up if you need more room. Just grab the bottom, lift it up, locks in place. Voila! It's just as easy to take them down. Bam! Bam! There you go. The Silverado's interior space is the largest in this class. It beats the Ram and F series. I'm six feet tall. I'm gonna sit behind myself and see how easy it is to get in and how comfortable it is once I get settled in. I'm gonna sit behind myself. <laughs> oh, it's spacious in here. Whoa, I have about nine inches of leg room and literally four inches of head space. There's a cutout on the ceiling so tall people can fit perfectly. If I could suggest something to Chevy, not like they would listen or even watch this video, I'm only Randy, right? But I would ask them to have the option to have the back seats tilt and slide forward and back. It would give the back seat passenger a better experience as well as they'd have a leg up on their competitors. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? I'm just chilling like a villain in between filming. No YouTubers can rap, man. <laughs> I want to say thank you to Connell Chevrolet and the general sales manager for making this happen. If you're looking for a heavy duty truck or any car for that matter, come down to Connell Chevrolet in Costa Mesa, California and give them an opportunity to win your business. The information to the dealership is in the description below. The interior of the 2020 Silverado isn't groundbreaking. If you're familiar with the previous Silverado's interior, the 2020 will look familiar. Everything is easy to read, reach, and use. It has full leather seats with some soft materials on the dash and doors. There are lots of square shapes and corners in the design of this car. It can feel a little outdated, although I gotta say, the technology is totally the opposite. For the 2020 model, Chevy added a center digital instrument display and the speedometer and tachometer are analog. On the left side of this leather wrapped steering wheel, you'll find the cruise control, heated steering wheel and forward collision alert button. Behind that is the turn signal stock with the windshield wiper controls. On the right side of the steering wheel, you'll see the controls for your phone, a roller for your instrument cluster. And behind that is a transmission shifter with plus minus buttons to manually switch your gears. At the top, you have your tow modes. Below that, you can choose from two wheel drive, four wheel high, four wheel low, and auto drive mode. At the bottom are your controls to all your lights. The center stack comes with an 8 inch high definition screen. Below that are knobs to change your volume, channels, and buttons that work with the infotainment system. You have your air controls and toggle switches for safety and towing features. Below that are your brake switches, USB-C, USB, 12 volt and 120 volt outlets. And you get a wireless charger, storage, and two cup holders. Top of the armrest has a place for your phone. When you open it up, you get a huge storage space with a USB-C, USB, auxiliary jack, and a SD card slot. There are lots of space in here. You get two glove compartments, one on top and one on bottom. How convenient is that? Chevy MyLink system is one of the easiest high definition display infotainment systems to use in the industry. Just read and push. Audio for radio, satellite, or music applications. Phone to call out or receive calls. Navigation for GPS. You can subscribe to a hotspot. Settings will get you everything you have on the car. You have rear seat reminder so you won't forget your groceries or child. Climate air quality. You can turn off, on and off your safety features. You can tilt your mirrors down or fold them in. Set lighting options, door locks, seat memory, bed view camera lights, and you have a teen driver mode which you can set the speed limit, radio, and phone options. The camera system is pretty high tech. It has 15 different angles when you hook up a trailer. 
With the safety package 2 option, the seat vibrates and warning symbols pop up when you're coming close to an object. If ever, ever you ran out of storage space, there's more on the dash. You can carry a small refrigerator or a generator up here. Okay, okay, I'm exaggerating, but the space is huge. Now for the fun part. Let's take this 2020 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD High Country for a spin. So here we are in the 2020 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD High Country. For a 10,000 pound truck, this truck has really good acceleration and the shifts are super smooth. It's not a sports car by any means, but zero to 60 comes in at nine seconds. That's the fastest in its class. Not only that, but it's a second faster than the Jeep Renegade, the Range Rover Evoque Diesel, Nissan Leaf, and Chevrolet Corvette 1952. Let's see if I could do U-turn in this Silverado 2500 HD high country. It's a three lane road going the opposite way and this amazingly has great turn radius. My goodness and I guess I shouldn't be surprised right because it's towing big things but my Corvette can't even make that U-turn without backing up. This I don't know I'm dumbfounded right now my z06 wouldn't be able to make that in such a uh, short turn radius this has a better turn radius than uh, my z06 and what the heck the ride is really comfortable in this car it has a slight edge over the ram and ford because of its independent front suspension the ram and ford use a solid front suspension so you'll feel a little more bumps in the road this independent front suspension will give you more of a smoother and comfortable ride. If you're looking for a heavy duty truck to tow, transport heavy items, or just want a big luxury comfy truck, the Silverado High Country may be the one for you. I enjoyed making the video for you. If you enjoyed it, please click the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel. I'm Randy, see ya. I feel like if I had this car, I wouldn't be in a hurry to go anywhere. It's so comfortable and it's pretty luxurious. And going slower, speed limit, no one's gonna be tailgating you. That's a fact. I'll be tailgating people, but they won't be tailgating me. So intimidation is a big factor. You got a big ass grill in the front with these LED headlights and this horn that freaking sounds like a Japanese car. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? That sound is so cool.